If you think about it, your email address is really like the skeleton key to the entirety of your digital life. Your banking, your cloud storage, your shopping accounts are all probably running through a single email address. And that means that you have a single point of failure. In fact, right now, I would be willing to bet that your email is searching through data dumps on hacker forums out there. But I'll let you in on a secret. My email address is also leaked, and I still sleep soundly at night, and I hope that by the end of the short video, you will too. So in the next seven minutes or so, I'm going to show you how to check exactly if your email has been leaked, and I'll show you the new $2.30 a month tool that I've been using to monitor my email and other bits of private information for leaks, and that has provided me with superior peace of mind. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check exactly which of your credentials have been breached. So to do that, we're going to go to haveibeenpwned.com. We'll put the URL right up on the screen here. This is run by a trusted security researcher, Troy Hunt. I trust the site. It's free, safe. Hunt has an extensive track record. So once you're on it, what you're going to do is you're just going to input your email addresses, right? No passwords, just email addresses. So here I'm going to type in one of my emails and... Yeah. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite, right? Here I am breached in, in multiple incidents. So if your email shows up here as being breached, then essentially what that means is your login credentials have been stolen and they've been packaged into data dumps. And these data dumps are available for sale on the dark web. And actually, this is a good point where I should clear up any misconceptions about the dark web. You cannot remove your information from the dark web. Dark web marketplaces are not known to be compliant with US law enforcement or law enforcement anywhere for that matter. So we now know that at least some of your credentials have been leaked and we can also uh, say with confidence that hackers are actively testing them against other website logins. So essentially what they're doing is they're taking your email address and your password, and then they're doing what they call password stuffing, which is basically spamming you know, hundreds of common sites across the internet with the same set of your login and password. If you reuse both of those, then they're probably going to find an entry point into another website that you also use. The next is called the account recovery hijacking. This is a big one where a hacker gets in your email. They are going to be able to get access to Amazon, Macy's, your banking, right? Whatever sites you use that pass through that email, they can reset the password to those. And then the next type of attack would be identity theft, where Honestly, even just somebody knowing your email address, even without the password, is potentially dangerous. I know that sounds like kind of a crazy statement, but um, you know, if you think of where you give your email address out, maybe you give it to the gym, you give it when you sign up for loyalty cards programs, you give it when you sign up for random newsletters, you know, that email address is out there in a lot of places and it might contain some personal identifying information. And we really want to limit the number of people out there who have access to this personal identifying information. I want to take a moment to talk about the monitoring gap that a lot of people miss. This is where Surfshark Alert, which is a new product from Surfshark and it's part of his broader Surfshark One suite, comes in. Now, this video is not sponsored by Surfshark. I am going to have discount links available in the video description below. If you decide to buy through those, it helps support the channel. I really appreciate that. But I wanted to make this video because I found that Surfshark Alert does a few things specifically very, very well. So I've been testing it recently and I've got to say it's one of the best dark web monitoring tools out there. Now, it's not full identity protection. So if you want identity protection that comes with insurance, parental controls, 24-7 threat resolution, go with something like Aura. Don't go with Surfshark. Surfshark is much more limited in scope, but it does have exceptional dark web monitoring. And it's going to be an especially good option for those of you who are already considering Surfshark VPN or maybe you wanted like Incogni data broker removal, you can combine those, pair those with Surfshark Alert. And that really does give you maybe not comprehensive protection, but really robust protection against some of the biggest threats on the internet today. So here's what I really like about Surfshark 1. So first you get the VPN, which is a very good VPN, probably best in class or damn near it. You get that along with the dark web monitoring. And this dark web monitoring, you can think of it as like a Sentinel 24-7, doesn't need to sleep, doesn't need to eat, that's constantly scouring the internet for any of your personal information appearing. So as an example, here's what happened when I tested Surfshark Alert recently. Essentially what Surfshark Alert showed me, and you'll see this here, is that one of our colleagues' credentials were exfiltrated, which basically just means taken from a device of theirs that had been infected with malware. And I did not get this alert with any other dark web monitoring software that I've tested, none. So I thought this was a really interesting data point that I wanted to share because it shows how, um, yeah, not all of these services are created equal. Some of them tend to catch more instances of breaches than others. And Surfshark is definitely casting a wider net than some of these other dark web monitoring services out there. So the way I'm thinking of Surfshark one is it's like a form of insurance, really. It helps me to sleep a little bit better at night knowing that there's this active ongoing monitoring on my behalf. And when you sign up for the max discount, again, use the links below. Uh, that's certainly appreciated. That's going to score you a discount. And if you're smart and willing to pay for, say, a 24-month package, that's how you're going to get that cost down to less than the cost of a cup of coffee. So here's what I want you to do to solve your problem 
of email leaks once and for all. First, go to haveabinphone.com, input all of your email addresses, all of them. Then you're going to set up Surfshark Alert for ongoing monitoring. Next, I want you to make sure you've set up two-factor authentication on all of your critical accounts. Ideally, you're doing this with a hardware key like a YubiKey or an app. You're not doing it with a phone number or a secondary email address. These are less secure forms of 2FA. Go ahead, run your scan. Let me know in the comments what you found, and I'll see how I can help.